Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how to build a random forest classifier to predict the chances of a person being prone to alcohol or substance use. In our previous video, we had built a decision tree classifier to do the same. The problem with that method is that decision trees do not generalize well on data. That is, a single decision tree would be created for the entire data set and the outcome of that decision tree would be considered as the final outcome. In random forest, however, we would have a forest of decision trees. So in this example, tree 1 would predict an outcome class A. Tree 2 would predict an outcome class B and tree N would predict an outcome class B. So once all the outcome of trees is predicted, we would perform majority voting and select that class which was predicted the highest. So the final class would be that class which was predicted by the highest in our entire random forest. So let's build that in Python. So first of all, we would need few libraries such as pandas for uh, CSV reading and uh, numpy for array manipulations, os to change directories, matplotlib to plot graphs, scikit-learn provides few functions such as random forest, extra tree classifier which should be needed later on. So once we import all the libraries, we would change our directory to where the data set is located. So the data set that I'm using for this video is the add health data set which was used even in the decision tree video. So few of the features of the data set are shown here such as age, alcohol problems, deviant behavior, violent behavior, depression scale, self-esteem scale. These are all the quantitative features. And then we have few other features that are categorical such as gender, ethnicity, white, black, Native American, etc. And this data set would be linked in the description. So then once we load our data set, uh, we, read, we use pandas read CSV to read the data set. And then since random forests are basically forest of decision trees and decision tree cannot work with NA values. So we drop NA and then we describe our data set. This would give us a good idea of what we are dealing with. So here, so this is our uh, data set and these are all the features. For example, age has total of 4575 samples with a mean of 16.49 and the standard deviation of 1.55 and the maximum age is around 21.51 so once we describe our data set we set our predictors so predictors are basically the features which help us in predicting the outcome so we set our predictors and then we set our target variable which is the outcome that the person would be prone to alcohol or substance use or not and uh, then we use the train test split function to divide our data set into training data and test data. Here the ratio of division is 0.4 that is 60% training data and 40% test data. And then from ensemble we import the random forest classifier and this is the way you create a random forest classifier and n estimators is the number of decision trees that would be present in your forest. So once you do that you fit your model using classifier.fit by giving the training data and once you fit your model on the training data you would test it on the test data using classifier.predict and once that is done we could uh, print out the confusion matrix and the accuracy score so I would just run this so this is our confusion matrix so this is the true negative this is the true positive and the accuracy is true negative plus true positive by total number of samples which is 0.84 which is better than what we had achieved in the decision tree videos so once that is done and uh, in random forest or the outcome of all the trees is considered and individual trees aren't analyzed. So one thing that we could do is we could print out the feature importance of each feature that is each feature in the data set how it contributes towards the final outcome. So we do that using this extra tree classifier and we fit it for the extra tree classifier and then we ask python to print out the feature importance so one interesting observation here is that so these are the feature importance it's in the same order in which we have set the predictors so one interesting feature here is that so the features such as uh, marijuana consumption has high impact marijuana consumption is here and the overall impact of it is 0.13 which is the highest so this has an high impact on the person consuming or getting prone to alcohol or substance use and the one funny fact is that a person being Asian has the lowest impact on deciding whether he'll be prone to alcohol or substance use so I guess you have to be Asian to never consume alcohol okay that was a silly joke and uh, then moving on so right now we had used 25 decision trees here 
but uh, we wouldn't know what is the best amount of decision trees to use so what this piece of code does is that it would run from 1 to 25 decision trees so one random forest is basically a single decision trees and a random forest with 25 decision trees so it would run from 1 to 25 and then print out a graph of accuracy versus the number of decision trees so when i run the code so this is what you get here so basically for when you're using uh, only one decision tree or around five decision trees your accuracy would be in between 0.81 to 82 and when you're using 25 it would be near 0.84 percent to 85 percent and uh, so this observation you can tell that even if you increase it would be around the same the accuracy wouldn't be increasing much on so here the uh, it tries to become constant here so we had used 25 trees and we, would, we got an accuracy of 0.84 percent so that is pretty much it for this video check out the code and the data set in the description I, I would link the github code in the description thank you for watching do like share and subscribe